And to some business news now, the National Biotechnology Development Agency has introduced Mako B2 cotton, genetically modified cotton seeds, to Adamawa cotton farmers. Over 500 cotton farmers were empowered in the state. The director general of the agency said that the seed is drought and pest resistant that would be able to revitalize cotton production for its superior quality. Plus TV Africa's correspondent filed in this report. Adamawa is among the cotton-producing states in the country. Ironically, most of the cotton farmers in the state are no longer interested in the business due to poor remuneration. AFCOT, a leading company in the northeast, is cited in the state but could not meet up with the cotton consumption in the country. The management of the organization blamed government policy for declining cotton business in the country. As of now, there's no private organization or a single organization that we tell you cotton revival program will work without the efforts of the government. Because the policy of the government has to be strict, that is to bring about this actual revival. The National Biotechnology Development Agency has now rekindled the hope of cotton farmers through BT Cotton 2 Seed. The agency empowered over 500 cotton farmers with the seedling to make farming attractive. The Director General of the National Biotechnology Development Agency was represented by his deputy during the presentation. He believes farmers stand to gain from productivity of GM seeds. BT cotton is a game changer, it's a wild goal, like other countries like US have enjoyed it. And so now I'm so happy that we here in Adamawa State have gotten it, of course, and our farmers have started enjoying it. Governor Madu Unma Fintiri was represented by Permanent Secretary, Minister of Agriculture and Livestock Development. The governor said that the introduction of hybrid vegetable seeds to farmer was laudable. He promised that the state will not take such an opportunity for granted. We are also happy that you chose to host this field day of newly released Mahiko cotton BG2 hybrids in Adamawa State, which is an agrarian state well known for not only cotton, but also soybeans, yam, yams, so, sorghum, sugar, granite, rice, beans and maize cultivation, as well as animal husbandry. Cotton farmers were excited about the prospect. We are very happy with this seat. And then we are welcome with the people, those who are supplies with this seat for us. But we have a problem, we have a, uh, about the sum of problem with the buy this seat. It's because of this too cost for us. Hopefully the introduction of biotechnology hybrid cotton seed by the National Biotechnology Development Agency will revive dying cotton business in Nigeria. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.